Hello and welcome to Lord of the Rings Online Gameplay Episode 4. A lot happens in this episode. We finish all the introductu introductionary. Damn, it sounds so fucking weird. I shouldn't have went with something so complicated. Oh well. We finish all the noob quests and uh, currently you're seeing me. Um, I don't know if you've seen last episode, but if you have, I told you guys that I would show you guys the part where I take all the items from the quests. So that's what's gonna, going to happen right now. And then after that, uh, we talk to Captain, and then we start the last few quests. Once that's done, we Lovely. go to his son's this cabin. Sure to cheer on right up. This will do um, nicely. And uh, me something to munch on we start bit, the spider quest there. Then the town gets what burned and done? shit. Hey, anyway, like, it took me an hour to uh, get a hang of this game. That's the total amount of gameplay footage I have of this game. Each since each episode is 15 minutes, it's around an hour, fathom. and there's only four Just episodes. Except this one. I this one been. isn't 15 minutes. It's more like 14. So yeah. But uh, Do not I'm glad I didn't give up because well. the game gets pretty addicting. Like, um. I, I'm this basically going to finish the storyline as I, I previously said, and basically after that it gets pretty addicting. But I can only cram this much footage into this episode, so you guys are going to have to wait till tomorrow, and then the episode after. I thank you. And the last episode on Friday. I have not the stomach to drink basically, this now. Basically, this little Lord of the Rings mini series will be over. So. Did my that's, teeth hook him up? I, I knew guess that's it a bad would. thing, but. Uh, don't be afraid, because there will be more mini series. Is like. A seven episode thing, so it's a total of one week of footage thing. Shit, phone fell. Hold on. There. Okay, so this is where this episode technically begins. You can see there was a little lag there because I moved before everything loaded. Anyway, so we talked to the captain. I I'm just repeating myself, aren't I? Yes, I am. One thing I didn't notice earlier is uh, the shadows. I don't know if I mentioned it, but they're pretty good. Putting that out there. And the clouds aren't dynamic. Careless told me that they weren't dynamic. For a minute, I thought they were, though. Because apparently the skybox changes as you go from scenario to scenario. So that's what happens. Again, I'm fast-forwarding all the traveling footage. Because it takes way too long to get to get from one place to the other. And this is some of the DirectX 11 water effect. I don't know if you could see the difference. Because I've never played this game in the X9 or X10. So I personally can't see the difference. But for those of you that don't have a... DirectX 11 card, you guys probably see the difference. I mean, you guys can probably see the difference. But I can't, because I've never played it in anything lower than 10. Though I should do a comparison video. Yeah, that would be a nice one. I'll do a comparison video later on. Like, maybe on Saturday, the same day I'm doing the Vindictus review. And, yeah. Th and that's hopefully if nothing comes up. I didn't even know the captain had a son. Apparently he does. I presume you're here to bring me ill news from town. So, uh, one thing I did notice in the introduction era, introduction. Fuck it. From now on, I'll just call them noob quests. One thing Calder I did Calder notice Calder Shen in the true noob quests is that there's two different types of armor: light and heavy. I keep going for heavy because it has higher defense, but currently I don't see the difference between them. Um, maybe you run faster with high. I mean light but I don't see it how cool is this can you do this I'm definitely speed hacking do you see it do you see what's going on here I'm speed hacking <laughs> it's awesome don't you just love this fast forwarded sound effects it's just so funny ooh I like how they uh leave out plans um out there someone must have like dropped the bag or something <laughs> so yeah I killed the leader and then I killed a few more people down there 
And that's just for experience. And uh, I finally got a hang of my skills, so I'm starting to get good. Not really good, because, again, I, I never can get used to these. Oh, and there you go. You saw the skybox change. I don't even know. I don't know if this game has skyboxes, but if it does, you just saw it change. I wonder what would happen if they were to make an MMO with footsteps. There would be—I bet there would be footsteps everywhere. I mean, footprints. Could I work, meant my friend. My bad. Footprints. There you go. I believe there is hope for us yet. We only need a strategy. All right. So, this is the last quest before we do the um, final one, which gets us. Well, we still we still stay in the town, but we could actually start doing our own thing and uh, follow our own little story and shit so you won't need to go and ask other people for stuff anymore we'll have to figure out everything ourselves after this last quest not af well not a the quest after this one we'll have to go think for ourselves spider bang Some of the textures in this game is pretty awesome. Oh, and, uh... I got some source code the other day of a uh, game mode for Gary's Mod 10 called Mid-Age. Apparently they stopped development because the team later, leader gave up. So I'm gonna go look at some of that code later. And see if it's still workable. I-I'm not, like, really good at Lua, but my brother is. So I'll have him take a look at Lua codes and shit and see what he can make out of it. But I do understand like the basics, basics in it. I just can't code really well in Lua. So that's gonna be interesting to see. And if it works, fuck. I'll go see, like, I, I don't know what happened. What caused them to stop making the mod. And yeah, you could see me like talking to myself right now. And stuff. Oh, by the way, the music in this uh, log, lounge, lounge, whatever it is, lodge. There it is, lodge. Uh, is pretty good. So here we start the last quest. The town gets attacked by Blackwood, and uh, we're sent in to rescue everyone. John Bracken, well, and his everyone, hunters just have reached the people. outskirts of Archit to find it already ablaze. A desperate struggle to save their village is about to begin. Hopefully, you have arrived in time. Hopefully, you have arrived in time. How awesome is that, really? <laughs> so, that's so standard. Oh well. We have I like no how he time just to lose. There. Until I talk to him. No, oh, they're we kicking him. That men. sword. It's called stabbing. Them. Oh yeah. I fucking scream at that guy's uh, eardrums blew up. I guess the AI. The only good thing the AI does is take damage or something. Cause. Oh, well, never mind. I take that back. He did do some damage, just not much. Our and uh, one thing that got saved. me really confused towards the end, um, Strider, that guy, re that guy that rescued us in the beginning, goes bad. I mean, that guy that gets injured there in the are beginning more up of the ahead. Game goes bad and goes with Blackwood people. I don't know what exactly happened there, but he's like, yes, master. So I'm guessing he was a spy. We must find my father before it's too late. Look, Artley is ahead. All must not be lost. Well met, friend. Is the crafting hall safe? <laughs> He's like mute. He has to. He has to type what he has to say. 
he's mute. <laughs> so funny. Skunkwood. Oh, he just this Blackwood. Unless Skunkwood is a real people. Is Although it a real the people? Mad Badger burns, I don't think so. I still hold out I think hope. game developers are that stupid. I mean, everyone would make fucking fun out of this game. If they were to have Skunkwood. Father! I knew you would survive! He's also mute. What happened to these people? Did I cut their tongues out? I'm just jumping, because, like, I hate parts where you can't skip in the game. But that's just me, because I don't like to... I, I like to get it done. Not, like, waste time. Not that reading's a waste of time. It's just depends on what I'm reading. I like how they walk through the fire and not get burned. I guess this is their red armor. No more time for games. Oh shit, these guys look airy. I'm not kidding, these guys scare them. Like, when I first saw him, I'm like, what the fuck's that? What's under that, anyway? Is it some type of fucked up mutant? I bet he's a zombie. Wow, I just noticed. Remember how I said, uh, Strider and stuff? Apparently, it wasn't Strider, it was Amder. Strider saved us. And then this guy got injured, and I was talking about this guy. I thought Strider was the one that got injured. My bad. I like how, like, they just leave one guy to take on three people. He's gonna get his ass handed to him. Father! No! He kind of looks like a movie star. I mean, movie. Yeah, he kind of does that. Fuck, I forgot what he was. What that guy played it. But, uh, he has that same, um, redhead beard as someone I know in a movie. What misery is that I forgot his name. My father was right to trust no one. Yay! We just finished all the, um, beginner noob quests i'll let you guys watch this part the and uh, quick shout out to foiled, bentley music studios and rize as we endorse each other just so not out there want to go check their videos out the fate of the ranger Amber and the links for uncertain. their channels and are on the prospect studios um youtube channel but hope remains that he may yet be saved Anyway, the campaign gets interesting from now on, and uh, if you guys enjoyed this and like to see more, subscribe, leave a comment below, or just watch the video itself, as it does motivate me and uh, help me make more videos like this one. I'll see you guys in tomorrow's episode.